If you use Stream Deck with Ecamm Live and you're not hearing the music that's being played from Stream Deck through Ecamm Live, then I've got two answers for you. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. Now, in this video, I'm going to be basically answering a question that was asked on a recent video, or rather, it is a a recent question on a an older video that I did actually uh, about uh, using Stream Deck with Ecamm Live. And the question was that this person had got a Stream Deck and they were trying to activate sound effects from the Stream Deck, and they could hear them in their ears through their uh, monitors, uh, but they couldn't hear them when they played back the audio or or for what was being broadcast in their live streams as well through Ecamm Live. So uh, there is a simple solution to this, uh, but there's the way that you do it in Ecamm Live may not be the way that you want to go. Uh, so I'll give you another option afterwards as well. But first of all, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So I'll load up my uh, Stream Deck profile that I'm currently using. Uh, and I've got two little spaces here for buttons. Now there are actually two ways that you can get audio or activate audio rather from Stream Deck with Ecamm Live uh, and the first is using the Ecamm Live's built-in functionality. So if you've got sound effects and you've dragged them into your sound effects panel in Ecamm Live where you've got a list of music and sound effects and things like that, uh, then you can actually download the Ecamm Live plugin if you haven't already. I mean, if you've got a Stream Deck and Ecamm Live and you haven't got the Ecamm Live plugin, then you're definitely missing out. <laughs> so I'll do that uh, first off before you even watch the rest of this video. Uh, but if within there, there is a play, um, uh, play audio. So somewhere down here, play sound it's called. There we go. So what that's going to do is you pressing the button on your Stream Deck, but it is actually activating the audio that is in your uh, Ecamm Live. Uh, and so that is like these two buttons here. So if I press oh, one of these, I didn't do something stupid. That's basically paying an, uh, a sound effect out of my Ecamm Live library by pressing that button. That isn't what the question was about, though. The question was about using the Stream Deck's built-in uh, sound effects. So there are a couple of reasons why you might use this instead of the, uh, the Ecamm Live button. And basically, you just drag this on over here. And one of the reasons would be uh, if you're using the uh, built-in Stream Deck library. So as of version uh, 5.0 of the uh, Stream Deck software uh, update, uh, you can click on here to the Stream Deck store and that will open up this Stream Deck store and then you can click on either music or sound effects and here you'll find quite a lot of different uh, musical tracks and sound effects that you can use uh, royalty free in your productions. So I'll just grab one of these and download it uh, and you'll see that when it's downloaded in just a moment uh, that will then become available to be used as a sound effect. Now, the way that you add it in is you still have to go to the uh, choose. And by the way, uh, if you're choosing a sound effect, you could equally just be choosing a sound effect that's somewhere stored on your computer. Um, but when you click on this little choose icon, it will actually just open up the default uh, folder for where it is storing the Stream Deck sound effects. Now, what you can see is that they do have a proprietary uh, ending to them. So it's uh, this one's called uptown funky good times <laughs> chosen at random but what a great title that is uh, and the the uh, the extension on it is dot stream deck audio so you wouldn't necessarily just be able to drag that as is you could find a way to convert it but i won't go into that uh, but you couldn't just drag that into ecamm live and it play so uh, we're going to play it from the Stream Deck itself. So if I click open now, uh, and let's just say I come out of my screen sharing uh, and I'm in the middle of my production and I want to play Uptown Funky Good Beat. <laughs> so I press the button. Uh, now, I can hear that, but you can't hear anything. And so that is the issue. So that is the issue that we are trying to uh, solve. Now, the way to do that is you come into your Ecamm Live Preferences now, in Ecamm Live Preferences, uh, there are a, a couple of options. Now, we're coming over to the Audio tab. Uh, and then when you come down to this Broadcast System Audio, because essentially that's what's happening with Stream Deck, it's playing the system audio, uh, it's playing the sound through your Max System Audio. Now, as a default, the uh, Broadcast System Audio in Ecamm Live will be set to when in screen sharing mode. So if I actually come back in, well, I'm in screen sharing mode. If I press the button now, uh, you will actually hear that music playing in the background. Uh, so it, it's, uh, it's only not playing when I'm not in a screen sharing mode. So if I press it again now, uh, now you won't be able to hear it again. So 
that is what we basically need to change so we're just going to come into here uh, and then we're going to go to this one here where it says when sharing in screen sharing mode uh, but you can change this and you can either choose never so that you're never going to ch share system audio or you can change it to all the time now if i change it to all the time what that's going to do is it's going to mean that no matter where i am whatever scene i'm in if i press the button like now then you are going to be able to hear it so that is basically the way that you fix this in Ecamm Live. The only slight issue with that, and it might not really be an issue, but the only slight issue with that is it does mean that you are always going to be picking up your system audio. So that means that any notifications, any bings and bongs and things like that that come through, uh, then you will hear those as well. So it is best to have Do Not Disturb on. If you didn't want to actually have the system audio uh, on all the time, the other way around this would be to use loopback. Now, if you are an Ecamm Live user, uh, then there is an offer code to get a discount on loopback. I forget how much it is now. It's uh, is it I forget how much it is. It's either 10%, 20% or something like that. But anyway, uh, if you contact marketing at ecamm.com, then they'll give you an offer code to uh, to get that if you are an Ecamm Live user. Uh, so you can do this in loopback. So the way that you would do it in loopback is uh, if I uh, just come and create a new virtual device, I did do another video all about loopback actually, so uh, specifically about how to set it up for Zoom and things like that. So I'll leave a link to that up in the top corner. Uh, but basically just in essence, what loopback is, is it's a kind of, uh, you've got to think of it like you've got all of these different audio devices and you're just sort of patching cables across to link them all into different things. So it's, it's kind of like a simulation of real audio devices and wires at the end of the day. Uh, so I won't spend too much time sort of explaining exactly what loopback is and how it works, because uh, I did do another the video about that but what I will show you is the way that you would do it so what I've got here is if I just take a blank source uh, and let's call this one uh, we'll call it uh, Mike and uh, Stream Deck <laughs> like that so this is basically going to be my audio source that is my microphone and also my stream deck now i've actually my microphone is already a virtual source because i do some audio processing in audio hijack pro uh, or sorry audio hijack 3 i still call it audio hijack pro it hasn't been called pro for uh, years and years but anyway uh, i've not got out of the habit i'll leave a link to my audio hijack video as well up in the top corner in case you're interested so i have a short mv7 and i've created a virtual device called processed mv7 that's basically taking the audio after I've done all of the audio processing on it not that there's much audio processing it's basically just eliminating the sound of my aircon <laughs> over on the other side of the room and when I had my old MacBook it was also eliminating the fan noise but fortunately with the M1 Mac mini there is no fan noise so that's always nice so anyway this is where I've got my uh, source coming in and as you can see the little meters are just bouncing up and down here when I am talking so the thing that we would want to add to this is we want to capture the sound from the stream deck so all we would do is we'd come up here and click on the little plus uh, and then somewhere in here it might not actually be active uh, but what we would want to do is uh, select the stream deck so if I go to select application and it will pull up a little window in a moment uh, and then I'm just going to type in stream deck so uh, here we go is the window so I'm just getting the stream deck application so I'll click on that one so now we've got the Stream Deck. Uh, now there are a couple of options. So there's uh, this, uh, or one option actually, uh, there's this thing mute when capturing. Now what that basically means is when I play a sound effect through the Stream Deck, um, it's going to mute it for me and the system audio, uh, but it's still going to play it through here. Well, I don't actually want that because I probably do want to be able to hear this thing myself just to make sure that it is all working. So I'm going to toggle that one off. So basically we've got my microphone and we've got the Stream Deck playing into this virtual uh, uh, source uh, sorry virtual output called mic and stream deck uh, but I'm also still going to be able to hear it so that is what I've done there now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my preferences in Ecamm live and I'm going to change back to uh, in fact let's just change broadcast system audio never so now if I uh, toggle this one off uh, like that and I press my little sound effect then you you shouldn't hear anything but if I toggle this one on and play it, I tell you what I have to do as well. <laughs> Before I do this, I do actually have to go and change uh, in my Ecamm Live to be the mic and stream deck. So just bear with me one second. 
I had to actually pause there. I realized that I needed to uh, reload Ecamm for it to recognize this additional mic input source. So I've fixed that though now. <laughs> I've now selected for my uh, microphone source in Ecamm Live, I've selected this mic and stream deck. So uh, what I was trying to demonstrate was if I have the stream deck source switched off and I play that music, then you don't hear it. But as soon as I actually switch it on in here, then now you are hearing that through Ecamm Live. And I'll just toggle it off again. And so now you might actually be able to pick it up from my, uh, from my earphones. But anyway, that is how you would do that in loopback. Now, by the way, with loopback, these things, you don't need loopback open all the time for it to be opening. So loopback is something that sets up all of these connections and then you're free to close down uh, loopback and it'll all just work fine in the uh, in the background. So uh, that is basically two ways that you can have your Stream Deck sound effects playing through Ecamm Live. And in case you are having any difficulties with that, uh, that is basically how you would do it. Uh, personally, I think probably the easiest way is just to use the play system audio, but and just make sure that you switch off your uh, any sound effects and things like that that you have that you wouldn't necessarily want coming over your production. So make sure you've got that do not disturb turned on. So uh, I hope that was useful. And if it was, as, as always, don't forget to go and hit the uh, like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already and turn on those notifications so you get notified whenever I make any new videos. Also, as always, I do love to hear from uh, from everybody. So leave any comments or feedback that you've got down below in the comments. And if you've got any specific questions, then uh, please go ahead and ask those. And I'll always be pleased to make a video to answer those as well. Because one thing I know is if one person is thinking it, then there are hundreds more that have got the same question on their minds as well. So always happy to make videos in response to those uh, questions in the comments and feedback. That's all for now. I'll leave a link to some of my other uh, Ecamm Live videos over on the right hand side. And until the next time, have a great day.